This is Us University, and you're watching Guidance. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we visit Tufts University in Massachusetts, United States, where I had the privilege to visit and teach alongside two friends of mine, B-Girl Millie Rock and B-Boy Rhythm. All of us are from Orphanage Movement. B-Boy Rhythm is actually a professor on campus who made this connection happen. This is a glimpse of how that class went. One thing I really hope you guys long term as well is exactly this feeling because that's what I mean we all we all grew up in like the same the same culture here and like so that's um like that we create with each other you know what I mean so that's what we want to share so um yeah let's get into it do you guys have a Millie just regular Millie and since the song Millie Rock came out I've been getting called Millie Rock so I just left it at that and called it a day so yeah that's about it Millie Rock Millie Rock yeah, that's why I didn't know it was really yeah. officially. Alright. Yeah. Alright, and Taylor is known as B-Boy Rhythm. So do you want to share how you got that if you haven't already? I, I think I did. Someone asked, yeah, do you guys remember the name, the reason why? Alright, I'll tell you the reason why because it's, it's, it's funny, it's a good coincidence. Because uh, I was typing it when I was a freshman in high school. Uh, I was trying to think of a name because I just started breaking. I was like, B-Boy Rhythm, Rhythm. I could never spell it. Right? Because it's a hard word to spell. It's got like no vowels. Uh, so R H Y T H M is the real way, but never, not one of my guesses was that. And so I'll type it in Microsoft Word and then, uh, of course, my name. And I'll get really annoyed when it puts that like red underline underneath it. And uh, yeah, especially it's like my name, Microsoft Word's telling me my name is wrong. Like, come on, it's my name. And so. Uh, what I did is I just realized if you put something in all caps, it thinks it's an acronym. So I put it in all caps and I spelled it wrong on purpose, spelled it R-T-H-Y-M, all caps. So now there's no underline. And I worked by the rules of the program and got to put my own name and now it, it passes all the tests, it's not spelled wrong. So um, that's sort of my angle I was coming at and I think I had mentioned before, it's sort of like the way I was raised too. I think like my parents kind of have that angle with their line of work as well. Like they kind of look at the rules and they approach it creatively to accomplish what is meaningful to them. So that's um, that's rhythm. That's rhythm. Dope, dope. So where'd you get your name, Backstage? Um, all right. So Backstage, right? Um, it's a longer story, but I'll try to shorten it. Right? I was typing up a, a report or something in tenth grade and. This was like, it feels like a long time ago, but it kind of was. Um, <laughs> but basically I was typing up a whole long, it was probably like a 10, 12 page paper. Um, double space, you already know, the certain formats, all of that was like a new thing. So I didn't realize that I had to do that until after I wrote it. And you know, you have like your last name on the right hand corner and then you have to page number, all of that good stuff. And I messed up in that after spending so much time. I was like, really? I gotta like delete it all. And I wasn't like tech savvy at the time to know that I could just highlight the whole thing and just press backspace and delete it. So I just had my finger on the backspace button and I was just watching it just like all the way, like imagine like 10 pages. And it was just like there. And at the time, I had already danced by then. I was always thinking about like what I do at battles, what I do at competitions. And the whole backspace just thought of like the whole like concept of just like all of these mistakes, all of this is what's going on. Someone throws down in a circle and then like I come out and I'm like, I do so ill that people forget who went before me or I could out, outdo, top, or just take out. Because in battles, that's what you do, right? You like, if someone goes out, and then you go and you take it out, or you respond with what you do. And in my mentality was just like, oh yeah, they do something, I take it out. And it, that's exactly what the backspace button, or that's what was happening to all of the mistakes and everything that was wrong. So in a nutshell, you know, it's because I take out a lot of mistakes or, you know, 
in that format. But now, you know, it's more like, uh, it was a joke at first, but it just sounded cool and it stuck, you know, hey, yo, backspace, you know, and it's a lot better or easier to say than Alejandro or Alex, you know, those names are great. You know, they have their own history. Alexander, you know, Alexander the Great. I Googled my name, it means defender of the people. You know, so it's really cool when I learned about my original name, who happened to be like my great grandfather's name. So all of that is important too. But part of discovering yourself is like, all right, if I had the power to get my own name, what would it be? What would be the meaning behind it? So whether you're gonna be a b-boy, b-girl, think about that within your own name, or what you would name your kid. You know, there's a lot of dancers out there with funky names, or even artists, and you know about them. You know, it's just like, why would you name yourself that? You know, but some people, whether it's religion as well, they choose a name and that's what like rides with them because they believe in this name, this is their persona, their character, you know. Um, um yeah, and, and that, that's what I meant by a religion, you know, you pick a name and then you roll with it, whether it's a given name, some people give you your name, like your parents, or um, usually in the b-boy culture, a lot of them, they say like, oh, this is given to me. And some people believe that someone has to give you the name. So like, that, roll with whatever, but at least if you pick a name or get given a name, you can also be like, nah, I don't think that's me. You can reject someone's name, you know. Um, but that is the story behind why I am Backspace, all right? And now uh, I'm Backspace and I kept my last name Diaz. So if you guys look me up on YouTube or anything like that, you can find me Backspace Diaz or Facebook or anything. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. I think I like this spot right here. I might use the board. So we'll just get into stations. I think Nelly Rock, you're gonna take whatever you guys want and we'll switch it up. Alright? So There are different ways in which workshops are conducted. I know some workshops will give an in-depth exploration of foundation elements, and the purpose of it will be to elaborate and drill these fundamentals. Some will challenge you physically, a few are philosophy-based, while others explore concepts and ideas that might be considered abstract. When I teach a workshop, I start with an assessment of the knowledge and skills that the participants have. I personally don't think it's fair for me to come to a location and teach a pre-organized class which just teaches moves or concepts to a group of individuals unless I am fortunate enough to teach them on a more consistent basis. I like to find the point where the group or individuals can use an idea, a push, or some feedback and go from there. Otherwise the content is not delivered efficiently. After that is out the way, the rest is all on them and what they make out of their experience. <laughs> 